Hi, this is Vicki with My Paper Connection. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in the United States, and I'm so happy to be with you today. Today, I'm going to make this beautiful card using a beautifully braided stamp set. I love the ginkgo leaves. They're so pretty. And um, this set actually comes, well, you can buy it as a bundle. You can purchase a punch that comes with it that actually does some, some braiding work in the paper. It's really, really cool. I'm not going to do that today. Today, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to sponge on ink on this page. Um, on my card front and then stamp the ginkgo leaves on the top of it. So without further ado, let's get started. To do my sponging, I am using a, um, well actually from the, the annual catalog, there's these circ circular pieces of sponge and you can cut them into fours. You get four pieces out of it and that's what I'm using to sponge my card front and I'm, I'm starting out with pineapple punch I'm just and the way you do it is you just kind of start along in here and then work your way across you start with your lighter color first get it to its desired consistency then you're going to switch over to another uh, sponge I'm using granny apple green here Again, start off the side of the page so that any sponge marks like this will start on the side of the page first and so that you can avoid having big marks across it. I'm not real sure what got on there for them to have the little circles, but we'll see. We'll see if I can cover that up. Now I'm going to use garden green and I'm just going to, and I don't know if you noticed, but I went into the pineapple punch a little bit with the granny apple green. And so it's like you don't see a, a beginning and an ending. And that's what I'll do on this one. I will blend the two colors of the green together. The next thing I've done is I've brought in my stamparatus and I had already placed my stamp set on or my, my stamp on the um, plate but let me show you how I did that. I figured out where I wanted my paper to be then I laid my stamp on top of it with the print side down. So basically the section that you're going to ink I had it print side down onto my paper. Then I just closed the, the panel for my stamparatus and it puts it on the, the panel for you, okay? Then you just put these little um, magnets in place and then what happens is um, you can't, if, if something happens that you're not able to get a really good coverage with your stamp, if you have a section that doesn't color as much as another section, then because this is put in place, you can lift it up, re-ink it and just do it all over again and then it will, it will go down and meet, see like right here, this is a piece that did not stamp very well. Right there, whoops, sorry, right there. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and re-ink it. And I like to put a stamp set under it because it makes it level, so I'm not doing like this on an incline. Bring it over. Some people press like they're doing CPR. Some people do belly rubs. I think I do a little bit of both. And there you go. Really nice stamp imprint. The next thing I'm going to do is to bring in my paper piercing mat. And I am just going to place this right here because this is a photopolymer stamp set. And being photopolymer, it, you just get a better coverage when you have that cushion underneath it. So I'm just going to come down here and stamp this right at the bottom, like that. The next thing I'm going to do is to run my Granny Apple Green cardstock through my mo memorable mosaic 3D embossing folder. Um, for this one, I used an embossing folder that came with one of the Celebration stamp sets, but since you can't get that anymore, I wanted to use one that you could purchase if you were interested in it. So I'm going to use, use this on my um, die cutting machine and emboss it. I'll be right back. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is to put my card together. See, this is a little bit different background 
than this one, but it's still very pretty. I really like it. So I'm using Pineapple Punch as my cardstock. I'm gonna go ahead and burnish that. It is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Don't worry about the sizes though. I will have all of that listed on my blog. Um, and then I'm using Granny Apple Green and I will put that on top of Basic Black. And we'll go ahead and place this on top of that. Then I will glue this on top of my card base. I usually like to work in, in from the top down. Um, sometimes I don't, but most of the time I will work from the top down. So there we go. It's a little bit different. It has a little bit more of the, the garden green over here on this one than this one does. But I like the different, the three tones of it like that. The last thing I'm going to do is to um, use my Take Your Pick tool and put some sequins on there, some black sequins. And what I like to do is use the putty part of my Take Your Pick tool and glue dots. So I'm going to come in here and pick up the, um, one of the... Um, sequence. I'll lay it on top of the glue dot and then pick it up and put it in place. Let me see if I can find a larger one. Okay, we'll lay another one down here on top of that. That's just about the same size of that glue dot, which is what I wanted. Okay. And if any of your glue dot shows, just take your pointy tool, whatever it may be, and just stick it up under there. No one will ever know the difference. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is to stamp the inside of my card. So I'm using Your Smile Brightens My Day. And then I took my stamp off of the Stamparatus and I only want a portion of it to show. So I placed it on a smaller block so I'm not tempted to do too much on there. <laughs> I'm just going to put it right down here in the bottom. Okay, so I'm all finished with my card. I've got the inside placed in and um, when you hold them side by side you can really see the difference in the cards. This one has a lot more of the garden green and come to think of I may I may have only used granny apple green on this one. Um, I made this one a couple of weeks ago in my during my planning stages and I didn't write it down, which I should have done, but you know what? I'm really happy with the way it turned out with the, the garden green in it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like the card. If you like this video and you uh, like the technique of color sponging, um, just if you have any questions about it, just let me know. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And if you ring the bell, you'll get noticed when the rest of my videos come out, which are usually Wednesday, Thursday, let's see, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Friday, I post my live videos. So um, if you'd like to watch my lives, I would love to have you to follow me on My Paper Connection on Facebook. I do lives Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, if you go ahead and like and follow My Paper Connection, you can join in. I do prizes and I make things and we just chat and we have a great time. So anyway, I hope you have a great day. Bye, y'all.